searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to take him shelter in his hideout. The witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. Hey, Najeli, good morning. Thanks for joining my stream this early. How are you today on this fine Sunday? You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. I just woke up, just used the bathroom, then brushed my teeth. How about you? Well, I woke up, made myself a nice tasty sandwich and I figured since I'm not doing anything today why not just get a head start on my YouTube videos so I decided to do the Witcher 3 today and right now I'm on the most craziest quest ever I'm glad you actually are seeing this because this mission I'm in right now is about to be so insane so check this out. The spot. Oh, okay. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. Someone took the What's fetus? Happening? Someone stole Watch the fetus. The oh, never mind. Oh no, the fetus! Look! There it is! Hey, little baby! Okay, so is it gonna be friendly or not? Nah? Let's go. Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Grab your fetus! We'll turn rabid. It's calm for now. Exactly. What happens when it gets blowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Just grab it, Pick so it we up. can deal with it. Take it in your arms. Come on, Baron. If you're quick to bury your dead fetus, you should be quick to help me with this. Hurry up. The added. Sally in Fortnite yesterday? From Nightmare Before Christmas. Nice, that's pretty cool. What? With this? Yes, with that. One wanted to test the old legends, change it into a leprechaun. Oh, fuck. That's really cool how they added those skins finally in time for spooky season, you know? Okay, so for the ones who jumped in, thank you for tuning in. Right now, in this mission, uh, you see that creature that the Baron's holding? That's his dead daughter. Um, basically, whenever someone has a miscarriage, normally you would give it a proper burial and all that stuff, but with Baron... Ooh, okay, what should I do? Um... Uh, should I do this? No. Okay. Um, how do I do this? Oh. Oh, this is bad. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Come on. Woo! Take me! It's right 
fighting something fierce. You can't hold it. Calm it somehow. There you go. Oh. Come down, baby. Come down. Quiet now. They also added Mabesto last what, night to the shop he from Marvel. Me, me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Okay, so that... Back to what I was saying before. That creature that the Baron's holding... That's his daughter. Normally when a miscarriage happens, you would naturally give it a proper funeral and things like that. But Baron's dumbass decided to basically grab the fetus, bury it in the backyard without no name, no proper funeral. So that's why the fetus is kind of like a... I wouldn't say a demon in a way, but... Oh gosh, this is bad. Okay. I'm not surprised this is gonna be difficult. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. There you go. Gotta have my shield on. I'm not trying to get killed. Come here. Come on. Perfect. All right, come on. These rafts would be the death of me, honestly. All right, we should be good. Come on, relax, relax. It's okay. Stopped. So yeah, the dead fetus is kind of like a some sort of a creature. It's it's a girl. What would I of named her? I don't know, Baron. Give give that baby a name. Poor kid. Just imagine burying a dead fetus in the backyard, acting like it's just scraps and and junk. That's a big ass baby too. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. Powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I Come on, Baron. Thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya. Aww. And the price these is my daughter. Dia is a beautiful name for that baby. Hmm. Good. Now bury the body. Come on, Baron. Finish the job. We need this baby to find your wife and your other kid. This is so sad. Uh, they are also going to add Captain Hook, Magnificent, Cruella DeVille, and Edward Scissorhands. What now? That's cool. That's a cool lineup. I'm not going to lie. In time, Dea should turn into a lubricant. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Why, Out Baron? Question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. The shade. Besides, nothing else you can do here. The shade, but, but it's no true. No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubricant. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Yeah, Baron, don't do anything stupid, my man. Go home, rest up, I'll finish your dirty work. That's it. Alright, so... And don't worry, Baron, I'll keep your daughter company. She's not gonna be alone. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. 
Hear my call and arise, Dea. Come on, Dea. Show me where your mama and your sister is. Ooh, I'm a little bit afraid. Whoa, okay. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. All right, Dea. Ooh, she's a fast one. She a runner. She a track star. Ooh. Okay, Dea. Honey, you gotta wait for me. You're you're running a little too fast for me now. Oh man. Oh my goodness. A running fetus. I can't believe I am running behind this fetus. Okay. All right, Dea. Woo. I gotta admit, Dea has so much energy. Good for her, though. Good for, good for her. Ooh. Hold on. Shut up, man. Just mind your business. Thank you. Let, uh, shut up. Mind your business. Nothing to see here. Thank you. Why y'all judging? She didn't even have a chance to breathe. All right. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Dea. Let's go, Dea. Come on, Dea. There you go. Oh, snap. No, 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 no. I'm not in the mood to fight. Leave me alone. Dea. Woo! Oh, shit. No, I'm not about to lose her. I'm going to take the L and run off. Because I cannot lose track of her. Is this the place, Dea? No, it's not. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Dea. Um, Dea? <sighs> Sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. So this is it? All right, Dea. Let me see. Ooh. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. So she could be here then, is what you're saying? Huh? Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Yeah, we we did. Abducted that. Clothing. They change in here. Out in the open like that, though? Come on. Clothing. They change in here. Wait, hold on. What is this? A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to All right. Something more. Dea. Whoa. Dea is so fast. All right, Dea, let's go. Come on, Dea. Show me the way. This is so interesting. The fact that I'm, I'm just here, right next to this lumber skin, you know. But the thing is, I don't want to call it a lumber skin. I mean, I know it's the official name of it, but I feel like fetus is a lot more appropriate. I love how Dea just glides. What is that? Oh, fine. I'll run. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Come on, Dea. Let's go. Come on, honey. Damn it, Dea. Why are you Why are you purposely leaving yourself behind here? Okay, let's go. Dea. Oh. Ew. Dea, come on! Are you really gonna stand there? Oh, we sure have been left. I hope I hope you know that. Alright. Dea, can we leave? Of course we can. Okay. You just wanna watch me fight all these monsters, huh? Oh gosh. Okay. Come on. Alright, move, move, move. Is that why I'm here? Because you want me to see that horse carcass? Damn. I should have never drank this much beers. Okay, I got it. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Ooh, they've been chewed up. That's what a while is. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. That's that big back energy. That is so sad. Giant claws. 
Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Wait, who did though? Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? So you think the mom and the daughter went through here and they got attacked? If so, I hope they're alive. Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Wow, that is so insane. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. I hope so too. I really do, because this is crazy. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Alright, alright, let me see something. I ate an apple, so hopefully my health rejuvenates enough. Come on, man. Oh, I see another wolf. Hold on. Hold on! Why do you stop? Oh my goodness. I hate this game sometimes. I'm just trying to run away, and yet Geralt wants to stay and fight. Like, bro. You know it's okay to, like, run away sometimes, right? So, we're going to another hut. Hopefully, they're here. Dea, is this it? Up. Oh. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Okay. I see some people in here. Hello. Who's that? In the room. Go on now. I just what love how I just barge in. Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, Don't lie to me. Passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Thank you. Quite See, at not. least the child is telling the truth. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. Why are you lying? This dream, then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Papi brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Papi cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That would explain why we saw the clothes from the last hut. Where'd the girl go? Her son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. Okay, good. This is Anna. That's another type. What oh, happened to her? Is better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Hmm. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. I'm not even surprised. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still it hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Really? How interesting. And is that the mark? Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did debt. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. My missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. 
a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Yep, what a what good a woman she is. Save Mrs. Anna in the end. I have a feeling the daughter is some sort of a witch, which explains why a couple episodes back we found that poem in her room. And I'm starting to really think maybe that wasn't really a poem. That was more like a spell of some sort. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seems someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out a cold sweat. Before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. Hey, sis. Thanks for joining my stream today. Beast attacked How Mrs. are you? Anna's horse ripped its head off. Carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed. Aww, I bet that was really hard for Tamara not to go after her mom. What marks? These. Well, Good, just finishing up breakfast. What's up with you? With hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand. Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. My morning has been good, Trisha. I woke up. Uh, I ate a nice little Scooby-Doo sandwich this morning. And by Scooby-Doo, I mean I made the most thickest, thickest, dummy thick sandwich that I wasn't even able to finish it still. Took me like a good 20, 30 minutes, and yet I still couldn't finish it. So that was like a good sandwich. And uh, honestly, I'm just chilling at this point. Damn, sounds good as fuck. Shh, listen. Listen. I made this sandwich yesterday, right? So check this out. I grabbed some Italian bread. And not just like those skinny ones, the thick ones where you put in the oven to toast if you want to do that. So I grabbed the Italian bread. I already had mayo. I decided to buy more pink salt since I was going to use that and the pepper. I grabbed some turkey slices, Kobe cheese, salami, shredded lettuce, and tomatoes, and I put all that together. And when I tell you this sandwich was so thick, Trisha, even with my mouth open as far as I could open, I still couldn't fit the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> it's comically big, but it definitely fills me up for sure. If you want, I can make that sandwich for you. <laughs> OMFG, I'm drooling. Yes. If you want, because I still have the other uh, ingredients, I can make that sandwich and bring it to you tomorrow so you'll see how comically big it is. Sean said that what she said. Yes, the sandwich was so thick I couldn't even fit in my mouth. That's how thick it was. You know what? I'm going to make the whole loaf for you guys. And when I go visit you, I'll just give it to you. So you know what I mean when I say it's comically thick. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do okay. what I see that she is. Wow, wow, wow. Up oh, the fetus. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Bye, Dea. Thank you for your help. That's right, you guys. You just saw a ghostly fetus. Man, Trish, I wish you were here like a good 15 minutes earlier to give you a little backstory with this mission. So check this out. 
this man named Bloody Baron had to bury his fetus because the wife suffered a miscarriage. But because they did not have a proper funeral, the fetus became a demon. Hence why you saw that thing. Now, when you go and watch the episode, definitely watch the beginning so you can actually see what the fetus looked like in real life. I mean, the fetus wasn't really that bad. It, it, it was basically like a little baby being a brat. It didn't really do much. Only thing I had to worry about was the spirits trying to attack us. But the baby was practically chilled out. It's just sad how the baby didn't really get to live its life. Demon fetus, Ava, when she does a nap, you leave my munchkin alone. In fact, I understand how she feels. When I don't nap, I also become a demon. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my goodness. Faster. But yeah, this it's a sad case really cuz the thing is I think the wife suffered a miscarriage because the bloody baron actually was beating her and I assume during one of the beatings that's how she ended up having a miscarriage. So basically she miscarried, left the fetus next to the bed and then left. She just left in general. Go, go. I'm not interested, sir. Leave me alone. So right now, the Baron is simply asking me to help find his wife and his daughter. Because the daughter also left as well. But I have a good feeling neither one of them wants to be found. Damn. And just left like that is crazy. Yeah, but the thing is, Trisha, Anna, she's been abused by this man. So, that was her only solution at that point. Her and the daughter decided to leave. And it's been like a couple weeks now. And the Baron definitely wants to find them. But at this point, I have a good Remember feeling. Me. Stable we hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Yeah. I'm grateful. Oh, wow. You didn't have to give me money, but I appreciate it. And I'm glad you're safe. Oh, my goodness. All right. So let me give the. Okay, fair point. Not nah, leave her alone, sir. She finally be JLo from enough. Yo, I haven't heard that movie in ages. A word, please. What do you want, sir? What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. Mm -hmm. What did you and the Baron do? We resurrected his that. fetus. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sits. Oh, he's depressed. Okay. He's soberly depressed. That's another thing, Trisha. This man is an alcoholic. And whenever he gets drunk, that's when he starts beating his woman. In fact, when I first talked to him about it, he said he didn't realize he did that until he actually recovered. Which is sad, really. All right, Baron. There you are. This is See the man. The hollyhock there. Violet Blooms. Mm -hmm. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them. Trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones. Called birds of paradise in Zeracania. Beautiful flowers. And Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.